Here's a bird feeder I just made from glass that I bought from thrift stores that I upcycled to make it into a pretty bird feeder. And I want to show you how I made this. So today I'm going to make um, a bird feeder using these items that I found at thrift stores and Goodwill. I found this blue bowl at um, Goodwill and I'm not sure what it is. It looks like it was cut off on the bottom there. But um, I thought it was really interesting and I uh, wasn't sure what to use it for so I decided this time I'm going to use it for the roof of my bird feeder. Got plates, candlesticks, a little blue dish. I'm going to use putty to put the screw in the top. I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Got JB Weld, epoxy, and I use E6000 glue. And I always try to keep marbles around just in case I want to put marbles in something. Alright, so I'm going to show you how I make this. So I'm using this eye hook that's big enough to hang on a shepherd's hook for the bird feeder so it can hang like that. You can also put um, an S hook on one of these if you want to hang it on a chain so it would be like that. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is mix up some epoxy. So I've got JB Weld. And I'm, I just cut off uh, the bottom of a water bottle here to use to mix it in. I didn't have any plastic cups. I'm going to pour that. Oh, it comes right out. That's good. It dries pretty quick, so you got to mix it up quick and use it quick. It comes with a little stir stick. Oh, I forgot. So I'm going to use the putty in here. This is where the hook's going to go. And I put the hook in like this. The eye hook. And that helps it to stand up straight while the um, epoxy dries. So I'm just going to put that in there like that. Actually I think I need a little more putty. I'm going to just pour it in here. Didn't take too much. But that's going to dry really hard, so that'll stay in place when it's dry. And the other thing I'm going to Put this into is this. this is going to be the roof, and I'm going to put this is going to go underneath it like that. So I'm going to also use epoxy on this, so it'll be really strong. And put a couple marbles in here like that. Oops. Give it a little color, and I'll pour a little in the bottom of here. this and the bottom of this. So I found that this works better than E6000 when you have something really heavy like this because it's hanging so you need something stronger than E6000. The bird baths I usually use 
um, E6000 because the weight is on top of each other, but this is hanging. So it just needs a little extra support. So that's going to be nice and strong when it dries. Set those aside. Alright, the next thing I'm going to glue together um, is the bottom of the feeder. It's, it's small, but um, I'm going to glue this because it has a lip on it. It'll hold the seeds in. I'm going to glue that on top of here, like that. So it'll have color and it'll hold the seeds. So I'll glue those, glue those two together. Let's see. glue this in the middle of this here. I know the staccatos are allowed. <laughs> So then when that's all dry tomorrow, I usually wait 24 hours, I'm going to flip this over and put it on top of here, glue that on there. Real easy, but it'll be pretty when it's done. Okay, so it's been 24 hours, and I'm going to go ahead and glue the rest of this together. The epoxy dried really well. This is nice and strong. It'll hold this up. It's really heavy. And then... Um, the hook that I glued in here is in there really good so this will hold it up really well so I'll go ahead and glue the rest of this together okay so the first thing I'm going to do is mix up this epoxy I use JB Weld but I'll probably put a little extra glue in between these two plates to make sure it's sealed. I'll do that last. But I'm going to use epoxy on the edge here. And then I'm going to tape it with uh, painter's tape just to make sure it doesn't slide off while it's drying. Okay, 
All right, so the epoxy dried on me. <laughs> it dries really quick. I didn't realize how fast it would dry. So I need to get more epoxy. And I think next time what I'll do is I'll just use half of the tube, mix it together, and use it. And then um, use the other half later instead of mixing it all at once. So, next time. Okay, so I bought some more JB Weld. And I'm going to, this is it here, I'm going to glue this on top of here, the hook. And uh, that should be nice and strong when it's glued on there with the epoxy. And I'm only going to mix half a cup this time instead of doing the whole thing. Uh oh. I got the wrong kind. Uh. I got the kind that's not clear, but I could still use that. I don't know why I did that. I didn't know there was another kind. <laughs> it's actually black. <laughs> See how that works. It says steel reinforced. Actually, it might work better because it's a little bit thicker. Yeah, it's going on like paste, so maybe that'll be better so it won't drip down the sides. So we let this dry for a couple of days, and um, that epoxy that I put on the top here seems to be holding really well. I bought this JB Weld Steel Reinforced Epoxy by accident, and I actually like it. I think it's working really well. So I'm going to go hang this out in the garden. <laughs>